Here we have an RGH 250 gig slim. The serial number is 2238956136091. It's always red LED to display the pulse being sent to the processor. Let you know something's going on inside. It's a lot nicer than staring through the fan hole too. So this console tuned pretty well. Usually throws out instant boots. You do have your occasional one to five, every now and then five plus. If it hits ten, just power it off. Power it back on after five seconds. Avatar and Connect data is updated. You have roughly 160 gigs left to fill with content. In the homebrew, I got a video player in there. NXE to God converts all of your NXE dashboard game installs to game on demand format. And XEX menu that loads your default XEXs, patches, etc. You got some emulators for you. Game Boy Advance, there's only a couple ROMs on there. Uh, Genesis and NES for some reason aren't wanting to update their covers. I know Genesis never has for me. NES I've gotten to update on maybe one or two consoles. I'm not sure why. I got my JQE account linked to it and everything. Tried going to their website and there's not even covers on there for them. Uh, Sega Master System, Super Nintendo, Let's just click on Super Nintendo. 100 gamer points for you. I'm going to scroll through the list fairly quick just to help save time so this video can upload before the customer comes to pick this up. This one's got 682 ROMs. I just picked one at random. Another 50 gamer score for you. Alright. We'll cut it there. Save time. launching a 360 game mm, just pick one at random you can go ahead and reset this setting I'm messing with here for the uh, margins and the, the brightness um, let me set up your JQE 360 account you can go on system link on all the first person shooters it's free of charge you gotta go to jqe360.com and create an account. Link it to the console. Do a little port forwarding on your router after you designate a IP address for your system. I believe port 3072 and port 3071 need to be forwarded from your router to your IP address of your Xbox. 
don't know if the internet will function correctly. Um, let's see here. Here's your 360 games, your homebrew. Um, a couple of the other games needed uh, on the 360 end needed a two disc install, so the extra bit of content is in here in these folders. Uh, XCX menu, and then your NXC to God, and um, the FF player. Got a couple skins. I went ahead and put plugins in here for you. Uh, let's see here, it's in the tone folder though. These are all the plugins I use on mine. Um, JRPC is an updated version of RPC, so really you can get rid of that one. Uh, I believe XBDM XEX is the plugin you need in Dash Launch for Xbox 360 Neighborhood or Xbox XTK, whichever you want to call it. There are a folder of RTE tools in there for you. These will have to be transferred to a computer. Got, um, I think Ghost Vapor is universal. It's got a couple different versions of COD on it. One in there for Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, a couple of model changers for GTA 5. I don't know if those work or not. Let's go to the NXE dashboard. I'll show you the console serial number matches the one on the sticker I showed you. Dashboard one six seven four seven. Console serial number two two three eight nine five six one three six zero nine. Let me double check to make sure I reset the password one two three four. There you go. I got Xbox Live blocks. Membership creation for Xbox Live is blocked. Um, everything else is open. Game ratings are all open. No exceptions. Movie ratings, all movies. Anytime you want to change this password from 1234 to whatever you choose, you can go into family, 1234, and change passcode. Secret question is your favorite fictional character from childhood? Answer is Bugs Bunny. I'll put that on all the consoles I build, just so that way I don't forget. But even if I forget, there's button combos to reset this. You got a password, one, two, three, four. Left trigger, left bumper, right bumper, right trigger. 